Good morning, this is Cadger Man, and here I am at Didissi Park in one of the uh, Denver Mountain Parks out by Evergreen. I'm here today to hide a new geocache, a new one in a series of trail mix caches. This is the one I'm going to hide today, and uh, as I often do, I'm also going to hide a buddy cache for it uh, to give you extra incentive to come out and find the two caches. Um, this is the 33rd one in this series. Uh, first one was hidden, I think, in 2016, and here we are halfway through 2019, and I'm up to 33. This is actually, I think, the first one I've hidden this year in the series. Um, so we're going to have to hike a little ways to the spot where I have in mind to hide it, and we'll see what we can see on the way. If you look at the website for this park, it says that this road is only open in the summer, but as you can see here, it is in August and it's not open. In fact, I've never seen this gate open, uh, so we get to hike down to where we're going to hide this cache. Um, the road doesn't look that great to drive on anyway, but let's go hike it. Well, we've reached the spot I had in mind to hide the cache. Now the trick is to find a good little cubby hole to put it in. It's a good sized cache, so it can't be just stuck in a corner somewhere. Um, we sweep around. There's a little rabbit over there. We won't disturb him. And uh, there's this rock formation. And then off over here, there's another rock formation. That's a possibility. Sweeping to the left in the distance, there's some more rock formations that might be good. And there's a cool old stump here that's also a possibility. Uh, let's go check out each one and we'll decide where to, where to put this cache. Where's the bunny? Over here. It's a little tiny guy. Well, I found the spot for this cache. It's uh, in a nice rock outcropping, and there's some uh, juniper here. Yeah, they're prickly, so whoever finds this one's gonna have to deal with that. I also found a convenient rock nearby to conceal it. But it's just gonna go right under here. It's nicely under there. I'm not even sure I need the rock. I think I'll leave it off. It's easy enough to conceal in there already, so I think we're good to go. I just need to mark a waypoint so that I can record on the website where this is going to be. Um, I'll do it two or three times and see which one uh, works the best. There's a second one. Done. I'll stand up, do it once more. That should be good. We'll test these out in just a minute. But whenever you go to one of these caches, you've always got to climb to the top of the rock just because, and then you can enjoy the view. There's a great view to this direction where there's some cool other rock formations that we're not going to climb up to today. But that's it. So the next step is to test the coordinates I just recorded. So according to this, I'm 34 feet from the cache. I'm going to test out the coordinates to make sure that it'll be good for the next person who actually tries to find it. So let's just follow the arrow on the GPS and see if it takes us to where I need to go. It's bouncing around a little bit. One thing I'd like to mention is uh, when you're walking around places like this off trail, there's a lot of uh, plant life and things. Try to avoid stepping on it uh, to help protect that uh, greenery that you might otherwise step on. So just watch your step. There's plenty of places to step along here that doesn't involve squishing plants.
see up ahead here, there's two or three different kinds of pine trees. This uh, cache I have is going to be uh, hidden in one of those. We'll see which one we pick here in a minute. But whoever gets to uh, look for this cache gets to figure out which pine tree it's in. Right, so this is the cache. I'm ready to hide it. I've selected my spot. I want to talk about the construction of it first. This is one of those preform tubes and I've attached a zip tie tightly to it with another one through the first zip tie. I'm going to go find a branch to put this on. It'll be lightly attached to the branch, not so much that it will cause trouble for the branch. So I selected a spot nearby here and uh, I'll go place it right now. According to the GPS, we're 280 feet from where the cache is hidden, the one I just hid, the one with the zip ties, and here we are at the trailhead, one of them for the Troutdale Trail here into Dissey Park. So when I get home I'll get this cache submitted and it'll probably publish in a day or two or three and uh, we'll see how long it takes for somebody to find this one and the trail mix number 33 cache I heard were hid just a little bit ago. So that concludes this video today. Uh, I think the next video I'll make will be about finding some caches also out here in the foothills of beautiful Colorado. I encourage you to subscribe. This is the end of my second video and the next one will be number three. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.